Hey guys, it's Zach Flintstone, and today I've got a swift water lobby. And so this is one of the funniest lobbies I've ever played. There's lots of really dumb kills, lots of funny stuff. Um, I'm not going to be really commentating this as I might normally. Um, just kind of show some of the highlights, I'm cutting out respawn time. Um, and I'm going to fill in a couple updates here and there. Um, one being that my channel just reached 500 subscribers. And that's absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how fast the channel's growing. It's just, I think it's fantastic, and I really gotta thank everyone who's been watching me. Um, over a year ago, when I started making spy videos, they were just stupid little 10 second replays of like stair stabs, and I've come a long way. Um, so, thank you for watching after I've gotten through kind of changes to my channel, making proper frags, um, and all these commentaries. So, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna keep making them for a long time to come. And so some other updates is currently I'm looking for a team. Um, I had some little issues with the team I was going to be on with some friends. Um, didn't really work out, so it happens, you know. But um, So now I'm kind of... I want to do Highlander, um, obviously. Because one thing that I really liked was when I made that Viaduct video over a week ago. Um, like being able to commentate real matches or scrims or whatever, I think that's something that I really want to try to upload a lot. Um, and I think they're just really valuable information, even if I play kind of badly. It's, you know, it's information, kind of gives you insight of why I did stuff, um, insights my play style, um, and it helps you out, um, especially if you're also in Highlander. Because um, I think Highlander is just such an amazing experience for Spy. Um, you know, whether you're in iron or platinum, really good stuff, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Um, the summer season, I know, is, I played that last year as Pyro, because some of you didn't know, um, I used to main Pyro uh, when I was pretty relatively new to the game, like less than a thousand hours, I'd say, um, and that was like a really fun time. I had a bunch of buddies on that, and that was a really memorable experience, and one of the most fun I'd had in TF2. Um, instead of do that a year later at higher levels and at a different class, um, one that I'm much more passionate about, it's really exciting, I gotta say. Because um, Spy and Highlander is just really exciting role. Um, and you get to be really important at times, you know? Um, every kill matters a lot more. Your actions kind of... it really... it helps build up your skill. Um, it's just really an amazing experience, so... Um, I'm really looking forward to next season. Um, if any of you um, happen to be a team leader for maybe a gold or high silver team, <laughs> um, maybe if you want to like, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm just doing that on my own time, trying to find stuff, um, and I'll be really pleased when I get to put out stuff. So, so from here I'm gonna start talking about the video a little bit because I'm kind of out of announcements that I can think of. Um, this is the derpiest ambassador fight I've ever had with a scout. It's one of those times that neither of us can really hit each other. Just when I go for the health pack, I happen to headshot him. There's really dumb stuff like that happen in this lobby. Um, <laughs> I'll be stabbing heavies and not even worrying about sentries, you know? So there our team was Ubering in, you know. I can see the sniper's really serious about this. Um, I don't know if you saw that little jump there, but that's really nice for getting around when the, uh... Because that door is locked in the first round, and it isn't in this part of the stage, but I forget about that sometimes, so whatever. And luckily there are big health packs like everywhere on this map. I really love this map. It's one of the nicest looking in the whole game. It's just humongous. There's so many different places to go with it. Really fun. I switched back to Gerard now, so... In there, I'm just trying to 
uh, go one way and then go the other. Even if they see me, it kind of gives me a little second to buy time. I go down, but generally that's a pretty good, um, pretty good escape route, I think. Um, assuming you're not Jurati. Because that's one thing that I really like doing with the Dead Ringer is um, you can kind of bait people to think you're going one way and then just change directions entirely. Because you have the time for it. This was kind of a one health scramble. <laughs> that one was so dumb, I gotta say. Because when pretty much when your health is that low, um, like when you have like less than 10 health with the Dead Ringer, um, and you're pretty much dead no matter what. You gotta go huge like that. And like, if you get a stab, if you get a face stab, if you get a trick stab, whatever it is, um, it's just hilarious. And if you would have died anyway, it's a pretty nice play, whatever it is. So. No, I'll go back for that health pack a couple times. Um, being healed is pretty valuable usually, um, and I don't really call get. I mean, like I don't call for medics that much as spy. Um, with Dead Ringer a little bit more than Invis Watch, because I feel with Invis Watch it's very easy to stay behind enemy lines and you can just kind of like hang around and get health packs. Um, but when you're always seen with Dead Ringer, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, I had a beautiful shank fight with the medic, which I gladly won. I love no crit servers, like, the uber assad is crits 100% of the time, Don't, you know, that's not even an overestimate, it just does. Um, it's a lot, you know. There's a nice little clutch, um, overtime play. <laughs> That's generally why I'll carry the ambassador at like any given time. Um, like if you can aim, it's just the best thing ever. I love that gun. And there I felt the spy, so I was chasing him back. Because every backstab, even when they have the dead ringer up, um, is going to do a lot of damage to them. Some of the time they encloak, they have really low health. What's really nice is when pyros extinguish you, M2 is your friend, pyro mains out there. They probably have Uber Again with those big health packs, since I saw the soldier chasing me, I just go for the other big health pack, and I'm just trying to wait until my dead ringer is recharged. We're gonna move in about ten seconds. Uh, you and here I have a little me? bit, about a minute of me running around trying to get away from people. <laughs> but generally, I'll try to shoot snipers if they have less than a hundred health, especially if they have the razor back. Push the card. There's so many ways to get into the final point. That's something I really like about it. And you can jump out these windows if you don't suck at life like me. <laughs> That's something I tend to be really bad at, like jumping out of windows. Like if you guys know on Harvest, like where like the sniper deck is, I have trouble with that. I don't know why. <laughs> and there, if you saw me on the stairs with that pyro. Um, really good escape route again is just lead them somewhere and just change directions and, and by that I mean jump over people's heads a lot <laughs> really confuses people Go down. Meds hurt. Heavy's hurt. and there they bought my disguise they didn't even shoot me so I'm taking advantage of that and I'm just kinda walking away and waiting for them to turn around And there, the heavy was lit, so I took his sandwich and the health pack, and I kept his attention on me, just so he'd stay revved down and I could get a nice little shot on him. 
Because when people are that low health, they usually panic. Um, and sometimes they, that can make them predictable, and sometimes that can make them kind of weird to hit because they'll be like all jumping, jumping around. Um, but uh, either way, heavies are easy to headshot when they're wrapped down. Nice. And that sentry there gives us some problems for pretty much the rest of the game. And there I tripped up on a medic pick, but I didn't really need it because I'm going for the sentry. Same with the demo. Stab the NG, get the sentry, and run. Unfortunately, their pyro was a terrible person was running the home record. Um, so that didn't do much for me. But I got away with something. Get back. What are you doing, buddy? Getting back to the next life, it's getting pretty close to the end. You do not cap, chopper. You... And so now I'm just going to dead ring around the cart and try to get it as far up as possible. And this is when I had that moment like, oh, I should have gone spicicle. <laughs> but, you know. Dead ringer spicicle is really nice for trying to get the cart in at last minute stuff. Um, here I changed my loadout. I even went revolver. I never use Enforcer, I hate that gun. <laughs> I hate it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't get there in time, so... Still managed to top frag even after all those derpy moments. So, thanks for watching. Um, hope to see you guys soon. And uh, more commentaries and frags to come. See you guys.